Hi, I wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, how to harmonize your melodies. And in other words, play, how do you know what notes to play with, other, with the main note to make it sound uh, better? For instance, this uh, song today I'm going to be working on is uh, Spanish Eyes. If you don't know it, uh, you'll, pick, you'll, you'll soon hear it a little bit. This is the melody. Now, that's fine enough, but to harmonize that, I can put other notes with the melody, like this. And that gives it the sense that you have maybe more players playing, or you just have a little bit of a nice harmony going. Now, the how you know how to do that, I have to know a little bit about the scale, the theory behind it. I'm in the key of C, which these are the notes in the key of C. No sharps, no flats. I can't use any of those. The first note is E. Now, I can harmonize in what we call thirds. I go down two notes, one, two, and maybe the next note would be F. I go down two notes. That's called using thirds because those notes are three, three apart. Those are thirds. So when I, I can move them like this, E and C. D and F. I go right up the scale and I'm using the notes, three notes below it. You count the one you're on. One, two, three. Uh, so if you'll come over here, here's the E, here's the F. Now I've added the harmony notes. Now if you have a low C pan, you can put the C here, but I don't. I have a, uh, I have a D pan, so I don't have a low C. So I, I went up in thirds like this. Near the end there, I use what's called the sixth, which is, I really like the sound of this. Instead of three notes, use the C and the E. That's six notes down. If you count the one you're on, you go down six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. C and E go together. D and F go together. I really like the sound of that. It's a very popular sound. Here's my C. Here's my E. Now D and F. E and G. Gives you a really nice harmony sound. Uh, the thirds are nice. I kind of use them in combination. You can hear it as I play the song here. There's the thirds. Thirds. Six. The last four notes I use the six just to make it sound a little bit different. It's a great sound. I could do it the other way also. Too. Either one, I use them in combinations just to give it a little bit uh, different sound. It also sounds like you have an extra player. You could almost say you have the melody part and you have the harmony part. You almost have two players going on. So it's a great way to fatten out your band a little bit. It takes a little bit of practice, but the more you do it, the better you get at it.